พชรบุรีก็เป็นจังหวัดหนึ่งนะคะที่มีทั้งทะเลมีทั้งแก่งมีทั้งภูเขามีสถานที่ท่องเที่ยวเป็นพระราชวังมีขนมหวานมีต้นตาลที่บ้านที่สุด So the thing about this seaweed uh, for me is just uh, another type of vegetables It has unique flavors in terms of um, its aroma. I used sea grapes a few years ago, and I was imported from France. Very, very unique saltiness it gives to a dish, and also, of course, still the texture. Very interesting, this pop on the mouth. Right now we're here at the farm, at the sea grape farm. Yes. Of course, you used it before in your dishes, but how did you use it? Before, I, I used to really use only for the texture. After I discovered more taste about these grapes, to associate, with, of course, with different seaweed, because you know you have many kind of seaweed and all right. have a different purpose. Right. You know, you can make a juice with that. You know, use on the sauce, on the vinaigrette, on the everything. You know, it's. Right. A, this type of sea grape at the restaurant, we try to uh, turn it to like a seasoning, uh, like element, as well as like make it to the paste. Okay. We dry it and then we cook down with some uh, some other opponent like like charlotte garlic chilies, just kind of Thai base to see what happens. Of course, because you are more <laughs> Thai flavor. Yeah, Thai flavor. Okay. Nam, ki di, tham hai ben dat chini chi wat wa sa lai lang, hoi ngam le kheng lang la saat ta. So they have like a lot of nutrients, as well as a fiber and calcium. Yeah, it's Good like for yeah, no, no cholesterols. But they say like if the person don't have gout, uh, like a joint problem, okay. maybe a little bit careful on this because of uh, basically it's the sprout of the plant. Yes. So it has more like uh, uric acid in it. <laughs> but very interesting, like all the visits like this, you know, you know how she grows it. You taste the real products, you know, straight from the farm, which is always more interesting, like when you buy on the market or when you get directly from the hotel or the restaurant. I don't like My wife can eat more spicy than me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <And> she's Japanese. <laughs> Today we have uh, two grapes that we actually picked up from yesterday. It's the one information that we get from the owner of the farm is to use it with crab. So the idea is to we pick up some crab as, as well yesterday and uh, we're gonna pair that with sea grapes and the, some herbs that we picked up uh, along the shore yesterday. What's your menu today? Hello, we cook uh, duck. So really French duck and Chalon duck. We do this mix a bit with seaweed, uh, beetroot, you know, healthy taste, seaweed taste, sea, sea flavors to, to manage with the gaminess of the duck a little bit. Chef, would you call this one in, uh, in English again? Uh, this one is Purse Lane. Yeah. And this one, I don't remember the name, honestly. It's like a I know, I know it's eatable. It's like a salty finger, but uh, smaller. Let's call it, let's call it local. Uh, Salty finger. <laughs> <laughs> I salt crust, I eat to keep all the flavors of the beetroot. And after we cut, then we'll finish just with a bit of, we prepare this uh, persillade. A sea persillade, I would say. You know, the persillade normally is uh, parsley, garlic, and butter. For this one, we replace the, the parsley by, uh, by the seaweed completely. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Long way. Mm. Garlic, seaweed, nice. Punchy. Punchy. Always punchy. Yeah. Really nice with garlic. The idea tonight was really to associate earth and sea. We have this beautiful seaweed we get from Bechaburi. Mm -hmm. Associate with beetroot first mm. and the duck. Two mm. products of the, you know, of the soil of uh, countryside, you know, right. and the products of the sea, which I love to to associate on the on a different way. And mm. This was the idea today. This idea, so we use the idea of uh, crab and seaweed together from her, and then we create a dish based on that, but okay. keep it really refreshing and light. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try. Sure. Sure. Mm. 
so, so mm. The dark so good. This one as well. Very nice, very refreshing. Maybe it's like Thai style, this, this spicy. Yeah. No, you have all the flavors of Thai style, of uh, Thai food, you know, I like it. Mm. And on the modern way, contemporary way, it's very nice. And the, the crab is super nice as well. Oh, I love your duck, nothing I can say more. You, I think you use, uh, you say you use the salt? Yes, the salt from the, the, from the lady who yeah. supply our, our seaweed today. So you can uh, taste like the saltiness, but not to overpower the beef. I think it's really nice. Uh, to go together with the duck. I mean, like, I need the recipe that you make the CB2. That I, one is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you. Now, for my point, you know, Thailand is full of secret and also about food. Uh, a lot of secret ingredients. Yesterday, we do the trip. I discover when we have a lunch or so different product, which I don't know. I never try. Don't okay, I try? You know, they have a really own uh, perception and own uh, culture of food and, and products, which is very interesting every day. For me as a Thai cook, Thai chef, um, you know, it's for me like it be, it's really exciting to see something uh, like Seagrace where we have like really passionate farm and uh, the owners that care about their product or what they do and it's for us to just uh, try to find a way, the best way to highlight these certain ingredients. People need to go out more to, to, to see what's actually available for in Thailand and uh, I'm just a part of the you know, showing case a little window for, for some people to see what we have.